Okay, I'm using um, my cards, the Rider Waite Smith Tarot deck. And this is going to be a Virgo for past, present, and future energy. Um, I can tell you right now your current energy is in the page of Pentacles. The page here is offering up one pinnacle with good intentions. However, it does not feel uh, like it's good enough. This card usually deals with the earthly realm and the material things that we want and need, which is like money, jobs, career, um, anything of that nature. It's also reflective of Taurus energy. Taurus being very grounded and very um, one of the, the earth signs that are, I guess you could say traditional. Um, they like structure. They like things to be the same all the time. Um, you know, they're not really good with change. Um, they, they, they're patient most of the time. Um, if not, then you're dealing with a Taurus directly or you have um, a great deal in your chart. You know, you got to remember these collective readings are harder to pull because there are multiple energies coming in at once. So you may resonate with one sentence or the whole dang thing might be wrong. But please only take what works for you. Never fit anything into where it does not belong and never make rash choices based on general readings. Not sure why I felt the need to say that, but there you go. Um, so you're elevating yourself into your career. You're attempting to and you're willing to give up the things you have um, you know, to achieve it, even if it's not a great deal of things. Like Maybe you don't have a lot of stuff, but you're willing to give it up to get to a better level. I think your heart is what makes your energy genuine here because you have motivation and hella organizational skills that will benefit those around you. Um, now, you need to do that for yourself. Get your own life organized. It's time. You, we both know it. Um, once you get it, your space in order, you will feel better, your energy will be lighter, and you will feel that you can get more done. Um, basically, in the past, you have the magician. I decided to post this meaning from a guidebook because, honestly, the meaning for this is what I liked the most. Um, and it's not my meaning. It's personally a meaning from another. Uh, from, it's, Wikipedia give this, gives this out, but it's from someone's deck. It says, when the magician appears in the spread, it points to talents, capabilities, and resources at the querent's disposal to succeed. So it's funny because it seems to, this reading seems to be based on your job or your career or your pinnacles so much. It's not so much about love. This one seems to be wrapped around the same thing. Um, this is what's telling me that the message is to tap into one's full potential rather than to hold back, especially when there is a need to transform something. See, did I not just say that to you to begin with another card? And then this came directly from the website and this was a whole different card and a whole different definition. But I basically told you you needed to start doing it to your own life. Um... Now, in the present situation, I pulled the Knight of Cups. This is a cup of action and love or relative to the things that you love. You are anxious about approaching somebody or either there is somebody who is too nervous to talk to you. Cups is also water energy, always flowing and can fill any void of place there. I'm not sure if you're diving headfirst into love to avoid work drama or if it is the other way around, but you are moving towards something or at least they're moving towards you and um, you have a great deal of love for this or it has a great deal of love for you. It could be anything that you love. The only thing is, um, it's moving slow. It's a slow-moving energy. So that might be why you feel anxious or nervous or why they may feel that way. Um, one of you can feel it, but you're antsy to make something happen. It seems to be um, coming from a place of love, or at least in that moment, the path that you're on, even though you may be going slower than you want to, is the right path. You're making your way towards your Ten of Cups, which is whatever it is that you find joy or love in. It could be your job or career, which is what I see in for this reading. So you're making your way towards that. Um, in the future, if your energy here does not shift in one direction or the other, this is like, if nothing changes, which you have free will, and you know something's going to definitely switch some way or another between now and whenever. So, if your future energy does not shift one way or the other, the likely outcome is shown by the Wheel of Fortune. This card can be good or not so good, but it usually depends on perspective, as lots of things usually do. As of now, the direction um, you, or maybe that Taurus-type energy, that you have around you are heading in is leading you to a moment when you will meet or marry the person that you love, believe it or not. I think you're giving too much to a career that you are not honestly into or the career or the job you have is overlooking how valuable you really are. You willingly give all that you have in a physical sense to help people that you care about, even bosses sometimes, and you are finally starting to see the light. You're realizing that you need to make more time for those you love and that love you instead of placing all that effort where it's not appreciated. Once you do this, the will of fortune will start turning in your favor. God is going to give you the strength to make it through this journey on your way to find love and, and career success. Uh, he will teach you ways that you can obtain your earthly possessions for yourself. He wants you to live comfortably but not gaudy or flamboyantly. If you have the love you were meant for, this is referring to the journey that you are on in your life towards your goals and career goals and education or anything that you find joy in.
You're making your way towards your destiny. That beautiful will of fortune will land in your favor. But only if you keep your faith. 